brush, two, three, four, put them up, two, three, four, do it, do it now, I'm gonna learn how to paint. Welcome Reaper Mini fans, today we have a huge miniature, this is t Ragzol. I think I've said that right, t Ragzol. Um, I'm looking at the word there, t Ragzol. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I've pronounced it wrong, um, but I think it's said like that. Anyway, this is a massive, massive miniature, its wingspan is over 18 inches wide width wise. It's absolutely huge. Now, I've been asked by David Wise, one of my patrons, and uh, he wants me to paint this miniature in black. So we're going to go for black today with some greys on the membranes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint this miniature with the blacks and the greys, and then I'll come back and show you. I've mounted the miniature onto a 160 millimeter base boss base. Um, what I've done, I've left links below in the video where I buy my airbrush from. I'm just using a cheap Chinese airbrush. I haven't got any expensive quality airbrushes or things I use for my airbrush because I use it really just for undercoating very large miniatures like this one. Now, I know Reaper Miniatures are going to be releasing an airbrush um, and I'm really excited for that and that will probably be the first airbrush Hello <laughs> Probably be the first airbrush I ever buy that's going to cost me probably over a hundred pounds um, So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Reaper Miniatures produce and give out on retail So what I'll do is I will get this all sprayed up and I'll come back and we'll see how it looks and if you another quick thing before I go um, I've filled in all the gaps with my Valeco potty which you all know I like to use for filling in all the gaps along the miniatures so there we are I'll come back once we get that coat done I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about the airbrushes I use this is from Amazon and it cost me 10 pounds um, it's just your basic, very, very cheap airbrush. Now, if you're using airbrushing for just doing your miniatures, like undercoating like I am, and um, you can use them for your large monster sized miniatures for doing different types of shading, then this is perfect for you. Um, I'm no expert at airbrushing, but um, what I found is because these are so cheap, if they break or if there's any parts that get clogged up, um, or there's a problem with the actual item uh, 10 pounds isn't that much of a loss um, and I've used one of these and as long as you give it a good clean after every time you've wor worked with the airbrush um, my, mine's lasted a year two years um, I've got uh, two or three as backups but I'm still on my first airbrush and it's working perfectly so as long as you clean the airbrush it will last um, so yeah this is just a very cheap model um, but it's perfect for undercoating all your Reaper miniatures and so I recommend if you're a beginner to your airbrushing get yourself a cheap set like I've done to start with and then once you've built up a bit more confidence then you can move up a grade because airbrush world is very expensive once you get into it and uh, it takes over you you'll end up paying a lot of money um, like I say when Reaper release their airbrush kit that's that will be my first step up the airbrush game into the more professional airbrushing but um, no um, this is what I use at the minute cheap cheap and tacky but it does the job so this is how far I've come with my airbrush now like I said before I'm using a very cheap airbrush but as you can see it's done a very nice job. What I've done, I've done the whole miniature in black and I've used light grey on the wings. Now with, do, with an airbrush, what you do is you have the airbrush close. Here's a, you put the airbrush close to the miniature and spray. And when you go up to the ends, if you take away 
the airbrush, what happens, it gives a lighter mist. And that way it looks like it blends into the wings. So what you've got there, you've got your dark shadows going all the way around the fingers. And I've, more, I've dry, um, airbrushed more heavily here and then lighter on the outsides. So it all blends in on the membranes of the wings and it worked out very nicely. So there we are. And I've also got up the front scales and that looks nice as well. So what I'll do now is I will get back to my painting because that's all the airbrushing I need to do on this miniature because it's such a large miniature. It saves a lot of time and it does look very, very nice. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dry brush the rest of the miniature with a light, very, very light um, gray, just to highlight all the rest of the scales. And then I'll come back. And it's starting to look fantastic now. What I did, I used some Dark Elf Highlights by MSP. And what I've done there is I've dry brushed them all up the scales, down the arms, and th that's come out fantastic, looks great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint in all the claws black because I want them to be nice and dark. I'm going to add the eyes, the teeth and the tongue. And I'm going to add a few more highlights to the scales. And we'll come back and see how it all looks. Ah, so what's happened now is I've painted all the claws with a matte black. I've done the teeth matte black. And I've added the tongue, finished the eye, painted around the base. Um, added some more highlights to the scales. All I need to do now is put a gloss varnish on the mouth and the eye. I'm going to add some flock into the base. And what I'm going to do is I'll come back and show you the finished miniature. But it looks fantastic. So here we are with the finished dragon. It came out wonderful. I added gloss to the eyes and the mouth. Um, at the base I have added all the flock in. Um, and I have just added a few more highlights here and out onto the scales and to the tail um, and it's come out beautiful. Um, very very happy with this miniature. I think this would look fantastic on anybody's tabletop. It is a mighty beast and I would not like to be in a party who would have to fight this. It's, it's huge. <laughs> You're all going to die. <laughs> Yes, it's a beautiful miniature. So there we are. If you um, enjoy what I do, then please hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So until next time.